9-11, welcome back this morning. Heart attack rates are pretty consistent throughout the year with one exception. Between Christmas and New Year's, the rate can actually spike as much as 40%. These are known as holiday heart attacks. And joining me this morning is Dr. Julie Clary uh, to explain the rise. She's a cardiologist at IU Health. Dr. Clary, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Good really morning. do appreciate it. Good morning. Uh, let's talk about the factors here because not too many people realize that there are factors that come to play when we're talking about heart attacks. Sure, so I think around the holidays, the biggest factor that comes into play is stress. We know around the holidays, people are, are working so hard to make everything perfect. They're mm -hmm. traveling, they're worried about all those last minute arrangements and, and being around different environments, traveling, all of those things contribute. And we can also uh, add to this, which most people wouldn't think, but different eating patterns and sleeping patterns play a role too, which is, I didn't know that. Yeah, we know around the holidays, people indulge, indulge a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes that means increased salt intake, mm. um, which can raise your blood pressure, really yeah. increase your risk for heart attack or stroke. Um, and they're not sleeping well. And when you're not sleeping well, your body is not rested and it's feeling that stress. Yeah, that's interesting that you mentioned because during the holidays, a lot of people like to definitely indulge in the foods and things. But if you uh, have diabetes or things like that, that, that plays a factor into your overall health. Definitely, yeah. It's important to, to enjoy the holidays, but maybe do so in moderation. And then we have to mention alcohol because that's another factor. Sure, alcohol puts increased stress on the body and, and certainly can predispose to these events. Let's talk about physical activity because most people tend to think that we see a gentleman out here shoveling snow. Fortunately, we don't have to deal with that now, but that's a risk. It is. When you're outside in the cold exerting yourself, um, it's cold and your blood vessels constrict. It oh. raises your blood pressure and can put increased strain on the heart. And especially when you're working hard and are predisposed to these conditions can lead to having heart attacks. And that you explain it really clearly and well there. It's that how what happens inside your body when you're out in the cold and shoveling all of that snow and what happens if you get into trouble. Let's talk about the symptoms for men and women. We'll start with the men first. Are they different? Yes and no. So men and women both can experience the same symptoms from heart attacks. And I very rarely have a patient tell me that they have pain. They typically will describe pressure, mm. tightness, um, a discomfort in their chest. That can be associated with discomfort that goes down the arm, up into the jaw, shortness of breath. Um, women will have more atypical symptoms. Okay. They can feel lightheaded or dizzy or just have a, a sense that something's wrong. Women will also just experience extreme fatigue at times. Okay, interesting. If someone out there watching finds themselves you know, feeling uh, different, what should they do first? Well, don't put it off, right? It's the holidays, everyone wants to spend time with their family. They say, I'll just wait. Let's wait till after the holidays and I'll take care of this. But don't do that. If you are having symptoms, you should seek care. That is so important, important advice. Dr. Julie Clary, an IU cardiologist, health cardiologist, thank you yeah. so much for coming on this morning. Happy holidays to you and your team. We to really you as well. appreciate it. Uh, for more information on uh, this, just go to our website, fox59.com slash links, and you'll find everything you need there. 914, just coming on 915, Jim. It's always important when you get around family just to be calm, 